Recently, I saw Tyler the Creator live, and when he was performing the song New Magic Wand, he started yelling the lyrics. I turned to my buddy DK and I told him, wow, Tyler could really do metal or something. And that's when he told me that Tyler has done metal before. But before we get into it, here's a clip of what Tyler sounded like so you have an idea of the vocals I'm talking about. Also, I want to apologize quickly for my voice. I lost it like last week. I was super sick. But uh, yeah, just excuse how I sound. <coughs> On October 9th of 2012, a punk rock band by the name of Trash Talk released an album called 119 that had 14 tracks. One of the tracks was a song called Blossom and Burn featuring Haji Beats and Tyler the Creator. The song was a metal song or a punk rock song or whatever you want to call it with an aggressive chorus from the lead singer Lee Spielman. Next up comes a verse from Haji Beats which was crazy and unexpected where he's just screaming the vocals. After that is Tyler's verse and although he isn't yelling, his raw and raspy vocals really fit the grunge aesthetic of the instrumental. The song is pretty solid and it's very unlike the rest of Tyler's catalog, but when I first heard it, I was in complete shock that Tyler was even on a song like this. It has almost 900,000 plays on Spotify, but I never hear fans talking about it. Even though we didn't get any aggressive vocals from Tyler, unfortunately, maybe in the future he'll drop a song or maybe even an album where he's just screaming his heart out. Anyways, how did this seemingly unlikely collaboration take place? Well, when I first heard the song, I just assumed it was a one-time oddball collaboration, but I was very wrong. Believe it or not, Trash Talk and Odd Future actually have quite the history together. I would lick Lee's nuts. Oh shit, oh my god, he just walked past me. I have dreams of playing in his hair because I'm the biggest Trash Talk fan in the world. Trash Talk is a band that was founded way back in 2005. They released albums, EPs, toured for a few years, and seemed to have a decent sized fan base. However, around 2010 and 2011 is when it was rumored that Trash Talk began hanging around Odd Future. I also heard that Trash Talk was managed by Clancy who also managed Odd Future and that's how they got into contact with one another, but I'm not sure how true that is. Regardless, they would begin performing together in 2011. They would often perform the song Radicals together, replacing the original instrumental with the band's drums and guitar, making for a great remix of the song. At one Christmas show they performed together in 2011, Tyler ended up getting arrested for flipping out at the sound guy. How did Trash Talk get Tyler the Creator arrested? <laughs> Tyler got himself fucking got himself arrested. arrested. Bro. We backed him up on song Radicals and then it was like he planned all this shit and got like a bunch of merchandise from skate companies and was trying to have like a product toss because Christmas show was like fucking give gifts to the crowd and then sound guy like pulled the mic and he fucking rented a piano to put on stage. He didn't even really get to play it, so he kind of flipped out, and then shit happened, and yeah, that's about it. They performed with Odd Future on occasion for years to come, and even played at some of the Camp Flogna festivals. However, what's even more interesting is that Trash Talk signed to Odd Future Records in 2012. Trash Talk were the first people that weren't already in Odd Future to sign to the label, and were also the first non-hip-hop artists. They released a lot of content on the Odd Future YouTube channel, including music videos, vlogs, promo videos, and more. Tyler even directed the music video for their song, F. EBN, which was also released on the Odd Future YouTube channel. Because of their signing with Odd Future, they got a very solid boost in popularity. And again, a lot of these videos have hundreds of thousands of views, which is why I'm very surprised I don't hear anyone talking about them nowadays. Another super interesting fact is that Trash Talk was actually featured on Tyler the Creator's album Wolf. Where you might be wondering? Well, it wasn't all of Trash Talk, but it was just the lead singer Lee Spielman, who was yelling vocals throughout the background of the song Trash Wang. Trash Wang! And because of this collaboration, this is why I think the song is called Trash Wang. I thought it was Trash Wang just because they were being trashy in the song, but now because it's a collaboration with Trash Talk and Golf Wang, I feel like that's kind of why the song was named that way. I'm not 100% sure that's true, but that's just kind of my hypothesis or idea behind it. But around this time, Trash Talk was getting fairly popular, especially in the hip hop community. And they were even hanging out with Mac Miller at some of their shows. Their fan base and Odd Future's fan base kind of meshed together well because of the whole punk community. I'm sure a lot of Odd Future fans at the time listened to punk rock and a lot of punk rock fans at the time listened to Odd Future. Although since Odd Future disbanded, the band hasn't really been making music much. I'm not sure why they took such a long break from releasing, especially since they had a seemingly large amount of buzz at the time. After not releasing any music since 2014, they released a 
collab EP with Kenny Beats in 2020 called Squalor. The EP was very short, but it was solid. It was a fully metal EP, which is why I think it's super interesting that Kenny Beats had his hand in it. However, over the past decade, they've done a lot of touring, performing with the likes of Denzel Curry, Suicide Boys, and more. They performed at Camp Flogna in 2017, so they still do have their odd future connections. They also performed this year at Mass Gorilla's concert in LA alongside names like this. I can't really imagine Trash Talk coming out to perform after Cash Dami, but it must have been a pretty crazy show. They haven't released anything since 2020, so I'm curious to see if there's going to be any more new music coming soon. I think it's incredibly interesting that they have such deep roots in the hip-hop scene, but I really don't hear anyone talking about them. Anyways, I thought it was very interesting that Tyler was on that song and Odd Future had such a very intricate connection with a punk rock slash metal band. If you guys have heard of Trash Talk or listened to them, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, make sure to check out the playlist that's about to pop on the screen right now. It has a bunch of videos similar to this where I talk about interesting stories behind songs or albums or people. But other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. This has been Matty Balls and I'll see you guys next time.